Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. Lars, a movie director visits his father Mikkel in a retirement home, and tells him about his plan of going to his remote cabin along with his wife Lisa, to give their dysfunctional marriage another chance. After the visit, Lars buys some tools, and hides them in the car, before picking up Lisa from their house. While driving there, as she reaches out for a bottle of wine, Lars apologizes to her for not being able to afford an expensive one, but Lisa asks him to forget everything, and focus on enjoying the weekend, because they need it to strengthen their relationship. Lisa also discusses her recent work, telling him that she is hoping to get a part in a theater play, but hasn't succeeded yet due to the arrogant director. Lars gets offended by the comment, thinking she is indirectly taunting him, which leads to an argument between them, but Lisa soon changes the subject, sharing her plans to spend the entire weekend preparing her script. After arriving at the cabin, Lars finds some signs like someone else was in the cabin before them, but can't find anyone around. As they later enjoy dinner outside, Lars asks her about her upcoming audition, and mentions her colleague Diego, who was working with her on another project. Lisa tells him they are enjoying working together, and might come up with something interesting. After dinner, they also spend some time playing board games, but none of them seem to enjoy it at all. Lisa soon quits the game to go to bed, but tells him they will continue playing the next day. The next morning, as she memorizes her script, Lars goes out for a walk, and collects some rocks, before returning to the cabin, but can't find her around. After retrieving his stuff from the boat, where he hid it earlier, Lars brings it to the garage, and picks up a hammer before re-entering the cabin. Planning to kill her, he quietly walks in with the hammer, but before he can use it, Lisa turns over and gives him an electric shock with a TARS. After waking up again, he finds himself tied to a chair in the garage, while Lisa questions him about the hammer as well as his other tools. He tries to change the subject by asking her about the TARS instead, but she reveals knowing his plan of killing her with the hammer, and drowning her in the lake, as she saw him collecting rocks. As she cannot figure out why he brought a chainsaw, Lars confesses that bodies sometimes resurface, so he planned to cut her into pieces, but Lisa makes fun of him knowing he is not capable enough. Upon her question why he wants to kill her, Lars accuses her of being a liar and a cheater, as he spotted her with Diego earlier. Although shocked to hear this, Lisa mocks his stupid plan, and tells him that she has a better plan, revealing she also wanted to kill him. It is revealed that a day before coming over to the cabin, she invited her neighbor, and told him Lars was taking her out hunting, although she hates guns. In the cabin, Lisa tells him she told the same to everyone around, just to make them believe that she did not want to go, but Lars talked her into this. Lisa tells him she has plans to shoot him with the gun, and to pretend it was an accident. Lars also mocks her plans by teasing her that she is not that good at acting, and will surely mess it up, as she cannot fake anything. Lars says he is far better at acting, as he lied to her, while motivating her to pursue her dreams, and move to Norway. Although he did not care about her, and did it for his own purpose, she still believed in him. After another argument, where both make fun of each other for being terrible at their jobs, Lisa asks him to go out with her for a walk, so she can execute her plan, but Lars refuses to comply. As she threatens to kill him on the spot, if he does not listen to her, their house help, Victor shows up and knocks her unconscious, after hitting her in the head with a shovel. Another flashback reveals that Lars met Victor in person, and sought his help in killing her. He also promised to give him 50% of Lisa's insurance money, which is almost $50,000, and advised him to be there in time. Back at the cabin, the tables have turned, as now Lisa is being held by Lars and Victor. Lisa makes fun of Lars for including a stupid like Victor in his plan. Lars reveals he was going to kill her, while Victor was given the job to dismember her, before they drown her. This time, Lars asks her about the reason why she wanted to take his life. Lisa reveals it was because she was never happy with his irresponsible attitude, as he lost everything in gambling, and dragged them into debt. She expresses her discomfort, saying they are on the verge of losing everything, including their house car and this cabin because of him. Lars accuses her of planning on using his insurance, which she accepts, and tells him she is doing it to be free, and enjoy her life as she always wanted. After listening to their conversation, Victor exposes Lars's secret, and tells her he also wanted her insurance money, and promised to give him $500,000. After realizing it was never about Diego, Lisa tries to get Victor on her side, and tells him the insurance money is actually $3 million, which she is ready to share with him. Both start offering him a higher price, but Lars tries to snatch the gun from him, accidentally shooting his finger. Lisa, who fell out on the ground during their struggle, frees herself, but both rush to help Victor. 
After they start arguing about whether to take him to the hospital or not, Victor tries to go by himself, but Lars shoots him down. Lisa accuses him of killing Victor, and the fight emerges again, in which Lars once again accidentally shoots the roof, but they hear someone screaming, and three guys fall on the floor along with debris. It is revealed that these guys who are revealed to be Roy, Petter, and Dave found the cabin while on the run from the police. After disabling the lock they barged in, and decided to stay here until it was safe out again. They settled in, and even used Lars's clothes to wear, but Lars and Lisa soon showed up, forcing them to hide in the attic. They stayed there keeping an eye on the couple, until Lars accidentally shot on the roof, hit Roy, and made them fall to the floor. At present, Lars and Lisa are woken up by the guys, while Peter reveals knowing they were having some marital issues, and one of them killed Victor during their argument. Both accuse each other of the killing, but Peter intervenes, saying he is not interested to know at all. Peter then talks about himself, and reveals they fled from the prison, and found their cabin while on the run. Being a jailbird, Peter decides to take advantage of the situation, and demands money in exchange for their freedom. As they intend to assault Lars to force them to comply, Lisa gives in, and reveals she has a lot of money in her bank accounts, which she can hand over to them, but they will have to wait until the bank opens on Monday. Peter accepts the deal, and asks Dave to let go of Lars, which he unwillingly does. After leaving the couple in the basement, the trio moves upstairs, and as Dave dresses Roy's wound, he asks if it's true that Peter killed his entire crew for money after a robbery? Peter accepts the killings, but tells them it was not for the money, and he only did it because the members no longer added value to his work. Downstairs, as the couple is tied up and helpless, Lisa confesses that she is concerned about their deteriorating relationship, because she loves him from the time they first met. She always thought they will stay together like a team, and have a good life, but it did not work out. She also accepts cheating with Diego, but reveals she only did it after getting disappointed in him, although Diego meant nothing to her. While listening to her, Lars spots a billiard ball on the table, and plans on using it for his freedom. He lures Roy downstairs, and asks his permission to use the bathroom. Lars's plan soon works out, as he knocks Roy unconscious by hitting him with the balls, and walks out of the basement, while Lisa also frees herself, and follows him. After not hearing from Roy for a while, Peter and Dave go downstairs to check on him, but learn that the couple escaped. Lisa tries to drive away, but is forced to return to the cabin, after being unable to find the keys. She eventually spots the boat keys, but Roy comes back and snatches them from her. While talking to Roy, she spots Lars behind him, and keeps him distracted to buy some time, but he finds out about it. There is another fight between the three of them, in which Lars kills Roy, before rushing to the closet with Lisa. While hiding there, Lars accepts his mistakes, and apologizes to her. He also admires Lisa's acting for the first time, saying she gave her best performance while distracting Roy. As they hear them coming, Lars gives her the boat keys, while asking her to leave, and assuring her that he will be right behind. Soon, they attack Peter, and step out of the cabin, but he still gets to them, after jumping through the window, while Dave joins him as well. As Dave holds his knife around Lisa's neck, Peter tries to shove Lars's face into the lawnmower, but gets hit by an approaching car driven by Mikkel. Six hours earlier, an old man from the neighborhood spots the cabin door wide open, and calls Mikkel in the retirement home to inform him about this. Mikkel assures him it's just his son along with his wife, and tries to call Lars, but gets suspicious after no one answers, so he decides to go there by himself. The receptionist tries to stop him, but Mikkel hits him in the head with his stick, and escapes after stealing his car keys. He eventually arrives outside the cabin, where he first saves Lars from Peter, and then tries to tend to Lisa, but Peter stabs him. Peter then asks Dave to go inside, and dress his wound, while he follows Lisa to the boat. Lars also comes inside, and shoots Dave, before returning to his dying father. As both watch the last sunrise together, before his death, Lars spots Peter taking Lisa away on the boat, and hangs onto the rope to follow them. After he eventually gets to the boat, both he and Lisa beat Peter in an intense fight, and throw him into the water. Lars also gets stuck with the rope, but she pulls him back in, and both return to the cabin. Exhausted, as they both sit outside on the patio, Lisa thinks they made it, but Lars knows their troubles are not over, as they still have a lot of debt to pay. They come up with a plan, and portray themselves as innocent, who were attacked by those guys. Everyone starts admiring them for killing the killers who escaped the prison. The couple is called in many TV interviews, where Lars announces making a film on this tragedy. The movie turns out to be a hit, and sold for millions, finally giving them a chance to get rid of their troubles, 
In the end, they film a scene replicating the one when they were held up in the basement. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.